YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice Flip Flap Toy here. Um, yes, I've got to tell you what, guys, I, I'm once again vlogging. Strangely enough, I just can't help myself, can I? <laughs> Strangely enough, uh, I've only got just about one Flip Flap product. Strangely enough, though, um, sadly, because obviously I don't have that much time, though. In fact, I didn't have that much time to do some more Flip Flap Toy products, though. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to be taking a look at um, this product here. Now, Jigsaw Puzzles is something that Flip Flop hasn't done for quite a while though, but this is a new thing I can heavily invest with uh, at the moment though. Uh, it's a Vietnam 2021 themed product, and it's called Flapples Splashing and Rippling Water Fun 32 um, Jigsaw Puzzle Piece Set. And look at this, it's even got the freaking sad onion. Look at that, 0 to 3 sad onions. How interesting is that? Actually, what number is that again? Looks like number 3 to me. I'm not sure you can see that though, but it certainly does look a bit like the number 3. And yay, look at that, it's like a freaking sad onion. Actually, I need to, need to make the number 3 a bit more clearer though. Sorry about that, that was a bit uh, sloppy and lazy of me though. Let's see if that will work. See if that sad onion will be revealed. Nicely and closely. Yes, look at that. That's how a freaking sad onion should be, eh? It's a little bit like those um freaking paneling toys that you get in the markets. Need to just rub the camera though because well it doesn't want to focus though. There you go. Nicely focused, alright. We've got the coronavirus on the top left here, and then we've also got a little diagram here, and I think that's the picture there. Definitely the little picture I'm gonna copy though in this jigsaw puzzle. And there's the back of the packaging, eh? I mean, um, Jigsaw Puzzles, to be quite obviously honest, they're one of the worst things ever to get in a Kinder Surprise Egg uh, because of the fact that um, you get the really cool toys and then you get like, you know, crappy cardboard jigsaws. I mean, really, but those ones here are better. Uh, it's really good for the brain as well. It gives you good, you know, beautiful um, functional motor skills or gross motor skills, which is really nice though. And here's Flapples, the um, Red White Hood Lapwing though, which I think that bird is supposed to be though. Or oh, he's supposed to be though, and what sort of bird he, he is though. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it, eh? And um, it's going to be quite a very interesting sort of uh, jigsaw puzzle to take a look at, eh? Now before I should actually um, assemble this jigsaw puzzle, I'm going to cover uh, my finger there, and I'm actually going to move it to there. Because I'm going to be basically assembling this jigsaw puzzle like so. Apart from the fact we've got Trash Master Wolf about to take over the video. Well, you know what? I don't know how I'm going to get out from my freaking chair, but I'll certainly do my best. Okay. <laughs> got a funny feeling, um, uh, as you're watching this video at the moment, that I know the local, I think, um, actually, I realise there's been some very, uh, very tragic weather news, though. Uh, about that big storm in the USA recently, which sounds completely heartbroken to many of my um, American fans on YouTube day, I believe. Uh, it really is heartbroken now, isn't it, though? With that um, big storm in the US. Uh, what was it called? Hurricanada? Anyways, apart from the bad news, I'm just going to go ahead and unpack this and see what we have. Normally, um, a lot of the fat products don't tend to come in, you know, um, more packagings like that, which in a sense I used to remember making packagings like that, but again it's using the same um, new logo here that looks like CDI Link from those crappy CDI games, you know, the Zelda and the Mario games, and strangely enough, before I should actually continue, uh, everywhere I looked there, there's no, um, I can't see a generation uh, number as well, I can't see G125, which in a sense is a bit disappointing for me though because I would have loved to see the um, generation uh, number in a sense though. It would have been so much more um, interesting to take a look at. But anyways, what's also surprising about this packaging is that uh, it also has another packaging as well. Look at that! So it's like a packaging and the, and the packaging together though. Look at that. Looks like I might be doing some very good unpacking here. We've got a little diagram here. For your jigsaw puzzles, I think the grid's also a good clue here as well, I guess. And, um, my goodness me, it's like that Henry Hoover, um, how do you say it? That toy review video, though, that I looked at there. So, this is the picture of the copy here, right? Which looks like that. Okay, so it's not really, um, 
Um, it looks almost as close as this, which normally looks like that. So that's the um, picture I have to copy right here, okay? Okay, so, actually come. Now this packaging actually reminds me of the Tony Plowell, uh, how would you say, it, train toys. I tend to get those from um, outside of, well, Europe and America, and I think it's normally in Japan and Asia that I tend to get those. Well, in the Asian area there, for that matter, though. And it's quite amazing. Those PCs, they feel very, very nice overall. And hopefully, as I am um, pretty much going to be um, assembling this jigsaw puzzle, uh, the pieces they look fairly nice in quality, though, eh? And it's um, completely and utterly um, simple, though. So I might give this one a good go, eh? Because basically, oh yes, look at that. You see that one, eh? I think those um, scissor cuts uh, pretty much are a clue onto how I assemble my jigsaw puzzle. So I'm actually not going to put up a time lapse video on it, though, because well, for me, there would have been taking quite a long time, eh? Uh, but yet again, it's quite a nice looking um, jigsaw puzzle over there. And yes, it's good for the brain, as always it's usually. Eh? And it's very, very nice. It also gives you a bit of problem solving as well, though. So you can pretty much um, place on the pieces. You can just place the pieces on where they would normally go. And jigsaw puzzle also gives you a bit of a telltale sign into where the pieces go and where are they going for, or where are they normally placed on? That's something I could literally uh, relate to, alright? Uh, that is a beautiful design. Now, I love the um, actual detailing of what it looks but though. It actually does have that obvious, you know, I would just say vibe of looking a bit like um, Flapples the Red Wattled Lapwing from uh, Vietnam 2021. And what's Sort of disappointing is, is that I've actually haven't been making that many Vietnam 2021 toys, uh, which is a bit of a shame though, because obviously, oh sorry, Track Master Luke, um, the the amount of Vietnamese 2021 themed toys has been relatively low in stock because I have to, you know, contend and wait with a few components that I really want to make, you know, very 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 special um, products though. I uh, tend to have a bit of a picky, um, how would you say it? Um, I don't know what I'm saying here, but my pickiness is very, very dependable, obviously, eh? And not only that, but um, I tend to have a very, very pickable sort of um, personality as well, though. Very fussy as well, though. By the looks of it as well, though, at times. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm just assembling it, and it's actually going completely and utterly well. Remembering I'm copying this picture here and therefore I don't need a time lapse video though because obviously uh, for me uh, it looks quite cool by the looks of it eh? And the PCs as I said earlier though they feel quite nice and yes I did read, I actually had a read on the packaging um, um, the piece size may vary though where it depends on how short or tall the pieces are though even though they're like in the same diameter this wire here, okay. So it looks pretty much the part. And whenever I build and assemble jigs of puzzles, man, oh man, some of them were quite hard though. And the ones which are devilishly difficult to finish, they're like the ones which take like a long time. And not only that, they're the ones with um, you know, I could do like a 64 piece jigsaw puzzle. Man, that would be even more harder and tediously. Uh, diabolically hard, but yet again, that's who I am sometimes, though, eh? And Trackmaster Luke's playing up there as I'm building this jigsaw puzzle, right? Uh, hey, but we're nearly there. I've uh, got a funny feeling, um, let me just talk about the, um, uh, the big storm that we have in the USA, obviously, though. Uh, it's sad, a lot of, um, American people have, um, lost so many lives there, and apart from that, um, there's been a lot of flooding going on now. And I did read, I did actually had a look at the news there. It's been quite catastrophically disappointingly heartbreaking that uh, we've seen quite a lot of, um, I would just say, a lot of rain now at, um, in New York City and also in New Jersey, I believe, and also the rest of the, you know, the USA there. I believe it's normally the, um, the eastern and southeastern parts 
you know, the, those sort of parts in America today, it's pretty diabolical when I think about this sort of feature like that one, eh? And I'm struggling to um, assemble this, and while Trackmaster Luke is doing the rounds, um, when the wizard is, does that piece go though, eh? I've no idea where it goes there, but I believe, um, I think it's that piece there. Strange, isn't it? I'm trying to, trying to assemble this, and I'm just struggling to, to make it do. Oh, there you go. And all there, so I'm just, um, pretty much assembling this. So it's not going to be that too bad there. I should have just pointed the camera there, like so, the picture today. Uh, looking good though, almost there. Um, yeah, but it still looks like it's a bit unfinished, but hopefully it will be great. Hopefully when it's all nicely done, once this puzzle is pretty much overly um, finished. Well, not overly finished, over and finished. Oh, looks oh, sorry, my hand just went straight into camera though, which wasn't that great of me, eh? Um, that section here, therefore I'm just going to... Add some more of it, eh? Well, obviously those are the pieces uh, that this product comes with, eh? Can be quite frustrating, those puzzles, though, but yet again I'm just building it together, and I might show you what it looks like. And yes, as I showed you again, the um, diagram like so, um, as I'm nearly uh, overall finish, it looks like, wow, I can't believe it, this jigsaw puzzle looks completely and utterly amazing and I have to say look how simplistically interesting this puzzle is like and whoa and finally after a couple of minutes victory is mine and I have to say after uh, track most of the loop just keeps on playing up look at that look at the puzzle that I've just formulated oh yeah well, I think that's about it in this Flipknot toy view, eh? And that jigsaw puzzle looks pretty much complete as always as usual. Mind you, I might be able to do a much more conventional jigsaw puzzle than this here because I can tell you what though, making your own paper jigsaw puzzle is pretty much the best thing in life though. So, if you really enjoyed this Flipknot toy view, please give this video a good like, subscribe for more Flipknot toy views in the future and I'll I think I'll be able to repack this, um, how do you say it, jigsaw puzzle in its normal packaging. Hopefully as I'm finished with this toy view, as I'm ready to go back into vlogging mode. And strangely enough, I have to say, it wasn't really that um, hard assembling this jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! Okay, as I'm standing and vlogging at the same time, you're only going to send extension. you. <laughs> need to make sure my face is um, positioned like so. As always, thank you so much for watching in this video though. I know it's only just one flip flap product though, eh? Um, I don't know what I'm saying here. But anyways, I think that's about it, eh? Bye!